Thanks uh, all. I'm Jean-François Le Clorec. I'm from uh, eLearning Touch. And today uh, I with my CTO, uh, Arnaud, and we can uh, uh, answer to your, to your question. Today I want to present you Jane. It's a kid of uh, seven years old. Her parents subscribe uh, courses to CLL. It's uh, a leader for providing language schools to children in Belgium. So Jane needs to reinforce her language skills particularly in French and English. And now she's a Lingonia user, a game based on Moodle ordered by CLL. So the priority one of CLL was navigation. Usually CLL provides lessons in a classic range. They want to offer to Jane much more flexibility. The goal is to let Jane master of her learning practices so she can learn at her own pace focus on the notion when she needs, etc. CLL wants a better learning experience for children. Priority two is to stop delivering courses with our boring adults' vision. Young children are waiting for discovering nature, playing sport, enjoying with friends, playing video games, etc. And so that to answer we develop a process in three points. The first point is game design. Elanic Touch is not only Moodle partner, we have uh, also a studio to create content. So our instructional designers worked on Lingonia like they do for a classic serious game. Of course, they identify pedagogic goals, but also they imagine a story with a game universe. Game design is not only storytelling, and the team worked on game points attribution, on build level scales, they imagine a reward system, and let Jane invest a learning experience with personalization. We work with our graphics team, uh, inspired by the scenario of instructional designers. We compose an immersive world for Lingonia to improve engagement of Jane. And third, of course, the LMS team customized Moodle to give life to the project. So let's discover Lingonia. <clears throat> so here the story is, uh, the story of the game is to explore a new world. Jane needs to complete missions to go ahead. So there are three missions. Um, on the sidebar, you can see the game dashboard of Jane. At the beginning of the game, she's invited to generate um, an avatar uh, and is invited. And during the game, she can add objects from a shop. So you can see the shop, the, the bottom of the, of the dashboard. In the system, there are XP goals. And uh, also, uh, you can uh, accumulate those XP goals during activities to access to the different levels. And there is also a virtual money called Lingo Star, and you can use it in the shop. So when uh, Jane click uh, on mission one, she arrives on a trolley map in which uh, she can navigate with mouse or shift. Moodle activities are available by clicking floor lamps at the map. When activity is achieved, floor lamps change the color, the floor lamps change. After clicking, activities are open in a box. For example, here it's a H5P activity, and uh, the path of question can be uh, clicked directly in the box. So you can see here the little stars, <coughs> and you can click and have some questions. What is interesting here is that we can, in the box, we can put any activity or resource of Moodle. So, I continue. Um, when um, an activity is achieved, uh, Jane receives some lingo stars. Okay, so she has some points, and she also have, have <coughs> lingo stars. And uh, it's um, here is Jane's uh, dashboard after completed activities. So on the sidebar, you can see that she gains some points that unlock levels. We are solving badges to levels at the bottom of the dashboard. You can also see that the shop is now open and Jane succeeded in activities she earned Lingo Stars. 
let me show you how to use it. Here, <coughs> we develop an interface to let Jane generate her avatar. So she can adjust random generation and by adapt it by choosing eyes, hair, color, shirt, etc. But some of options are locked. And to unlock it, she can use Lingo Star. So she has 10 Lingo Stars and she can use it, for example, to add a case <laughs> to her avatar. <clears throat> so Jane uh, plays, uh, sorry. Yeah, so Jane plays uh, more uh, now Lingonia on uh, improve languages with success by creating an immersive world to engage Jane, let her a large flexibility on how do I learn, and propose a system of rewards that personalize experience. So a piece of technique of what we use to develop Lingonia, we use uh, Level Up, a strong plugin for points on um, also leaderboards. Uh, we use Stash, which uh, which has been very useful for Lego Star system on uh, also uh, bartering. And we use level maps developed by BDCent as a format course. And we use some avatar. It has been developed by our team. And uh, you can personalize uh, all the, if you want, uh, your own outset. And it combines uh, also with stash for the shop. The first result of Lingonia from CLL is used in blended in session actually. Teachers saw a better engagement. Lingonia is also used by teachers in the classroom. Something very interesting to animate session, particularly important for young children. Of course, the system is highly scalable for teachers. They can use all features of Moodle, but put it on the serious game engine. Moodle Learning Games Project is now a complete service that we deployed in other case of use. <coughs> Here is a project for a football club, the Stade Bresto of Neuf, which is fifth in the Champions League ranking today. And they want to sensibilize young football players to sustainability. So the story is based on a guest and a quest in the, um, in the city. Each part of the city supports the notion of football and mobility, football and biodiversity, etc. And here the bus, the buses symbolize mobility. You can see just a, a football a football a goal. And when the player click, he unlock, uh, uh, he unlock uh, the, sorry, he unlock activities in a graphic presentation. With these uh, activities, he gets some points to add a scarf to his avatar. For example, there is a global challenge and player can receive gift after, uh, after a draw among first and red run kid. Okay, so you can see here, the people, they can add some assets, some uh, change uh, the, the chart, etc. Here's another world with the reference of Game of Thrones. So uh, this is very appreciated by students. So it's not the same uh, level of, uh, of, uh, teach, of uh, learners. And um, yeah, we, what we do is uh, another, another world. And we also have uh, yeah, medieval music to uh, improve the way to complete immersive, uh, immersive situation. OK, so uh, you can see that by combining um, Instructional designer, graphics, and also a piece of technical uh, that can be very interesting. And to uh, imagine not Moodle like a provider of courses, but really an engine to make uh, to make courses on uh, learning better. Thank you. And if you have some question. Sorry for my English. <laughs> Merci beaucoup. <laughs> uh, I, I wonder, so thank you, this is very inspiring. And I was wondering if you have explored uh, escape rooms in this type of environment. 
if I explore what? Sorry. Uh, escape rooms. So the, the concept oh. of a digital escape room in y this type yeah. of... We, we can... Um, in fact, this is the instructional designer uh, job. They can imagine here yeah, it's Quest, but we can imagine that uh, we can have some uh, 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 some some scenario where, where the Quest is to explore uh, a lot of rooms or something like that, and activities activities unlock the different uh, the different rooms, for example. So you can imagine uh, all you all you want in the scenario, and after you transform it like a game. So it can be, the scenario can be other things like uh, than a quest.